what is going on you guys, John Bossy Girls here and today I got another package in with some good goodies in it and if you did not know what this is it's a chassis protection kit um, basically these are just metal plates which are pre obviously bended and cut and whatever and basically these just fit around the chassis of your truck's so steerx crawler so you can protect obviously your diff housing and you know stuff like that and yeah it fits you know this stuff fits like this and got these two small pieces that fit over the pumpkin of the axle one for the front one for the rear this big metal part is for the rear it goes like this and i will show you where it screws in this one goes for the front and just screws in the chassis um, also it came with these screws I imagine they are longer screws so obviously you won't take up a lot of thread so screws threads in all the way and this is just a, a skip plate for the transmission it goes like this you can see and yeah also very interesting it has these two holes which allow you to unscrew the drive shaft so if you need to you you won't have to get this off I, I will show you how they fit but it is very very helpful if you get a chassis protection kit this one is cheap I got this like a uh, 10 bucks or something like that from Aliexpress I will link it in the description and yeah it's, this is very very easy so I'm going to show you how this stuff all screws in the chassis okay guys so we are going to start with the center piece which is this piece which goes right here in the transmission skid plate and there's a screw right here as you guys can see right here and just screw that out you can use a impact gun or I mean just an electric screwdriver I'm just gonna be using this Allen key it's pretty tight let me get some leverage there we go it's broken loose I just unscrew that all the way Okay guys, so this is the stock screw that was in there and I have these kind of screws that came with the kit and the reason I'm going to use them because they, the type of head they have right here fits the this flat side so this is what I'm gonna go with they are a little bit longer as you can see so I'm gonna be using this Okay guys, so the middle part is in after a million hours because it was so tight this was slipping off. So I got I just got my uh, my socket driver, whatever you wanna call it. And first one is in. So next I'm gonna be doing the diff, the rear diff. And basically if you look closely on the diff, there are two screws right here. As you can see, one here and one here. This it basically just hooks one of those. So what you want to do is, I don't know if I can reach it in here. Just want to unscrew those. It's very, very hard to get in there. So I'm going to get the Allen key. You just need to loosen those. And just unscrew them all the way. Okay guys, rear part is done, I, did, I just unscrewed this all the way out and just fill this, I just unscrewed also the lower one a bit out and just, you know, maneuver, maneuvered it around and this is rigid and I am, I am really liking this, it looks very very great. And next we're going to be moving on the rear part and basically the rear part, there are the 
bumper mounted screws on the bumper mounts right here so you, you have to unscrew those out and then you have the adjustment you can move it right there or right there uh, I think I'm gonna be moving in the all the way rear so it won't conflict with you know when crawling all right so let's get this done Okay guys, check it out, here you got the final result, the process repeats, we got the chassis kit installed, As you can see, chassis armor is installed, looks absolutely fantastic on my Bronco, and yeah, I absolutely love it, and the middle part could have another screw here, but I'm, just, I'm not going to mess with it, it's pretty rigid, it's not going to come out. And yeah, if you were wondering, I use the stock hardware everywhere, just you know, screw the screws and obviously re screw them with the stuff installed. And uh, the only part I had to use the stuff, the, the screws that came with the chassis kit was in the middle where I, where I upgraded to the longer screw, which is obviously very better. And the chassis kit feel, fits absolutely fantastic, I absolutely love it and I think it's gonna be a good upgrade to protecting my components on the Traxxas TRX4 and as you can see it does not hit anything everything fits very very nice as I explained these metal parts you have these screws and you just unscrew them and just put this on just screw it and it's very easy to install I did not see any manuals I just you know figured this out kind of and yeah, the, the rear is very, very good. I was going to fit it backwards, but this is the way it should be mounted. I hope. <laughs> but that is what it should look like. And I will use this wrench screw, or whatever you want to call it, to, want to screw because I do not have my electric gun here today. And it works good. It works good and uh, it ratchets these screws and I am very very excited to test this out it does not have a lot of testability but I think it's gonna look very great on it I think it looks absolutely fantastic as you guys can see let me get the body okay guys check this thing out <laughs> it looks fantastic <laughs> it looks so nice I mean if you just take a peek it looks very great. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. This is a very good upgrade, guys, that you can do to your Traxxas TRX4. So you obviously can protect your components. And uh, with 10 bucks or a bit more, you can get your Traxxas TRX4 protected. protected. <laughs> and I'm very happy with this. So hopefully it is a good addition to the Traxxas TRX4. And uh, let's hope gold is coming in the mail and I have some more and I will make more DIY tutorials and uh, hope you guys like this. I am very happy as I said. I mean the product looks very good. This also fits the Defender, the Traxxas TRX4. I imagine that it fits all the TRX4 versions but it fits the Bronco for sure. But I guess they're all the same. So hope you like this video guys and make sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my Facebook page and group in the description. Hope you like the stuff I post there and you guys are free to post yours as well on the group. 
and uh, I'm absolutely in love with this. And more to come for sure. I am very, very happy with this one. And uh, see you in the next one, guys. As always, stay safe.